Olympians usually train their whole lives to qualify for the Games, but some don't have that luxury. Somalia is sending two athletes this year, despite its devastating 20-year civil war. As CCTV correspondent Emily Drew reports, the country's small delegation has only had a few months to prepare. Imagine spending your life running from bullets in civil war and then running in the Olympics. Two Somali athletes will race in London 2012, and for them, just being there is a win. We hope that the athletes who are competing will bring victory for Somalia. Our preparation was only for three months, but the other's preparation was for four years. And we hope, God willing, that we will succeed. The runners train in the stadium scarred by Somalia's 20-year civil war. The stadium itself was a base for the Islamic insurgents al-Shabaab. They banned sports when they were in control of the capital, Mogadishu, and they destroyed most other training facilities. Athletes could only resume workouts when al-Shabaab was expelled last year. As Muhammad Hassan Muhammad ties his shoes, he says he can't quite believe how his life has changed. In 2009, he was forced to flee the capital because of heavy fighting. He returned home just last year, and now... I have been selected to go to London. I really hope that I will bring fame that Somalis will enjoy. Mohammed will compete in the 1500 meter and 500 meter races. He has some experience in international events. He ran in the Pan Arab Games last year. London will be the first ever competition for Somalia's other Olympian, 20 year old Zamzam Farah. She says she can run the 400 meters in 58 seconds. That's 10 seconds slower than the current women's world record, but she has high hopes. I am one of Somalia's national athletes who will attend the London Olympics, and God willing, I would like to be victorious. Somalia has never won a medal, but Mohammed says his team's participation is more precious than any gold, silver, or bronze. It's about showing the world that Somalia is more than wars, famine, and drought. Emily Drew, CCTV.